Hi right, guys, this video is sponsored by Autodesk. So rather than go through and show you like every attribute, one uh, attribute at a time, I just thought I'd show you a couple of nodes that I'm about to um, upload for you guys along with the scene. Uh, the first one's called Spark and um, it's basically a particle system with various attributes that are exposed onto a new compound. Um, things that aren't you know, there already like speed min, speed max, age min, age max and some filter particle uh, attributes. I did it because um, I'd like to offset the animation onto different objects quickly. And I know we can do that with different sources, but I also want to be able to add different influences to each uh, iteration. So that's why I created Spark. Um, so Spark is a simple compound. Really, I just wanted to be able to lay down pieces of geometry um, on, a, on a given surface which like uh, you can see here, which is the first disc, which we just sort of plug into Spark, um, play around with some of the settings, uh, just to give us some particles that emit. Um, and so for the example that I showed just now, we've got three versions of Spark running, and um, we could just uh, quickly have a look at that. Uh, if I just stick down an output, and we'll just, um, see what these guys are doing let's just open them up and it'd be really nice if i could drag those out while they're collapsed you know that would be really nice um but we can't so right so let's just open these up um and we can see just the beginnings of how um we create those smoke trails um and it's really simple really just we've just got like some some big um oh, i'm looking at the wrong disc We've got some big uh, particles which create those puffs. Then we've got some um, smaller, more widely spread particles that just kind of like shoot out, um, and uh, uh, and some that kind of go up higher. And that is like kind of it, really. There's just, just nothing special, really. It's just kind of giving um, the next node that I've created um, something to work with. So you know, we package those up, all three of those, and you know, already we've you know, using a really small amount of screen space. Um, and then I created um, this uh, other node, which is um, an aero simulation. Um, and, you know, there's been no programming on my half. It's really just hacking together various things that I think work well um, so that you guys don't have to really, and I can upload these for, for you to use. So this one's called Dust and it works well with Spark. We just like plumb in, um, the the output particles of, of each spark uh, into dust and it just looks at it and just works basically um there is we've got a, a few things inside dust which um i've exposed uh, it's got like turbulence built in dissipation built in uh, most of the solver stuff's there and it's got a volume material built into it as well um and so if we just like bring that uh, resolution up for a minute we can see that if we rewind and play, it just starts working. Obviously the resolution is like, you know, low at the moment. That's why it looks all puffy and terrible. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what it does. And then so uh, whenever I want to like create another one, I would just like drag in another disc and pull it into here. So we've got disc two here and literally copy and paste these, copy and paste this. You don't have to, you can plug all of these into one dust, but if you want to offset the animation of it, it's uh, probably better to have another dust. And then you can get like a different type of turbulence or a different resolution. Um, and that is it, you're all like ready to go. There is another node that I'm working on at the moment, um, it's almost finished, called Ignite, which allows us to add some like flame elements to this, um, but it's not uh, ready at the moment. So we're just gonna deal with Spark. So another use case for Spark can be um, without without using Aero. Um, we can use the filter particles. So I've just grabbed another disc here. I'm emitting some particles. Um, let's just have a look at those quickly. Let's just drag those into the output there. Um, and I'm just emitting some particles which kind of do that. And then um, I'm using the filter particles that are looking at the point age and putting them into the geometry there and we can just pull those particles out and we start to get something a little bit more like this where like almost like the gunfires come down or laser fires come down and it's hit a fuel depot um 
and uh, uh, we start to get some cool effects. So very quickly, you can start to build up an effects shot um, and you know use spark and a combination of dust to do like your ricochets and your trails and your smoke and just by and just by adding all of these uh, you know simple bits of geometry or any type of geometry that you want. And we've got like a you know I've, I've got a few effects going on here. We've got a really simple graph, really simple. Um, so yeah, that'll be for that kind of like you know sort of nice firework effect. Um, and then we could look at something like um, just simple like ricochet type effects, um, where um, you know maybe maybe a, a bullet hit something and you just get like those sparks coming off. Um, I just need to plug in the trails. Uh, and let's just rewind and play. Just pull that uh, trail number down to like three. And so yeah, that's that really. If you go with two, it's just like a bit harsher. But you know, some kind of impact. Um, and yeah, we can just like take the gravity down a bit so it's not as harsh. Um, just get a bit more height on those. So we can use a combination of Spark to do like a whole bunch of effects. And it's really simple. I'm going to upload the file, uh, allow you guys to play with it. Um, um, and uh, I'd like to build on it. I've got some other ideas. I'd like to be able to draw curves um, and have uh, the, the points of the curve set off offset um, uh, explosions and uh, kind of gunfire, debris, and that kind of thing. But yeah, so I'll, I'll upload this. So we've got spark and dust, and um, just have fun playing with them. I hope it kind of speeds up your workflow a bit. As I said, Ignite is coming, but it's um, it's just a, a little bit dead at the moment because I built it in the beta version, and I just need to go back and just like sort a few things out. Um, so we've got Ignite, and then after Ignite, we've got Blast, and there was another one I literally can't remember. But what I'd like to do really is get all of these together, package them up. It'd be great if at some point we could use them as a Maya preset in the presets, um, in the in the Bifrost presets, uh, because I think we could add a little bit of NPM where we get some of those sand particles stuck together as well, and we start to get you know nice little clumps of dirt coming out. And then hopefully at some point, if we get an R, uh, RDB, RBD folder uh, solver, oh god. Then we can get like you know cracks in the floor and proper debris coming out. But until that point, I will try and build up as much as possible so that we can create like uh, an effects asset really, um, and that is not not as daunting. You don't have to just you know think oh you know I've got to build a big old uh, aero simulation and I've got like so many different things to plug in. No, let's just create tools like these and we can just make things a lot easier for artists. Anyway, that's it from me. Take care, guys.